my faith um, is everything, is everything to me. And, and once you get to a point where your faith is kind of the baseline of, of who you are at the core and you've seen life at a different angle, um, you question less and you stay patient and you just want to get to know, you know, who is this person that I'm believing in? You know, what, what is that? What is the attributes? Um, and this is what you want from me. Okay, you know, I can do that. And how does that benefit me at the core? So I say faith is is the cornerstone for everything that I do. And so many people ask me, oh my gosh, you've done so much. How do you do it? I literally, I just have faith that if it's meant to happen, it will happen. And I never want to limit myself. She is an absolute gem. And what people don't know, which is absolutely incredible, life comes full circle. Like, you know, life always comes full circle. And when I met Bill Keys, it was during a time when I was really, you know, struggling um, in regards to, you know, taking a job, wearing it, just being, um, you know, comfortable in my own skin. And she came at the perfect time uh, in my life. And she was fighting for a band that I never knew I would benefit from. Like right now, being in Spain, being the first a uh, hijabi player to be covered and to to wear hijab in Spain, and that was a that was a country one. Bill Keys wanted to play, and she told me she wanted to play in Spain. And I learned this months later um, after I was already in Spain. And to say, oh my gosh, like like alhamdulillah, like you were fighting for a cause that I didn't think I would benefit from, but just having you as a sister in Islam was amazing and so crucial for me at that time. Um, so she is an absolute light. She is um, incredible and, and I'm so, so thankful for her. And I just you know, pray that God blesses her in so many ways. Um, and I would say for me, I think it was just coming back to myself. Like I said, I think the biggest fight that we face is usually against ourselves and, and what we believe and what we know and our fears. Um, and then getting to the point where, where we are rooted. Um, so I would say as a young child, you know, I did wear hijab, I did cover, and then coming back to myself what was the main key. And I got to this point where, you know, as I began to travel and was taking more steps towards my faith, um, this felt like the next step for me. This was the next transition. And it just happened to be on a larger scale. But it, most people, it happened in the comfort of their communities, of their homes, um, you know, and, and for me, it just happened to be magnified. And that was not an easy journey. And again, I surrounded myself with a lot of sisters. But the biggest thing that I asked myself, um, I had a few injuries happen to me. And as I, I was again, learning more and more, you know, there, this is like, this is why, like, you know, this is really a must for women to cover and to be modest. And here are the benefits, like here are the incredible benefits um, across all religions, you know, at that, just to cover yourself. Um, and I said, if basketball ended today, who would I be? And I was like, I'd be a Muslim woman. And what does that look like? What does that feel like? Um, you know, how does she look? And, and that was that was a pretty easy answer for me. And so it was not, you know, the sports or, or the talks or the speaking engagements. It was just getting back to the core of who I was and taking the next step in my spiritual journey. And I just remember coming home from practice and I don't have Wi-Fi until I get home and my messages started pouring in. And I was looking at the date and I was like, December 1st, I don't, it's not my birthday. I don't, it was a month ago. And just having an outpour of support from those that I love was just so heartwarming for me. Um, and then to go through that list and see incredible individuals who are on that list was just such an honor and a privilege and something that I'm still um, thankful for today and still experiencing and, and still just so excited about.